Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Wednesday. We need to take a look at some possible moves for the upcoming Thursday flipping period. Um, and I basically just want to talk about Thursday flipping this week, the market, how it looks right now, and how I think this Thursday flipping period could go. I think it's going to be a very sick period. Um, I think the market's going to go up a lot. We'll go over here to flip in and take a look at some graphs, of course. Um, but right now, the market is it's very high. It's been climbing all week. Um, and in a lot of areas, the high rated golds are starting to come back down as they're out of SBCs. You know, that kind of stuff is over. But um, we're over here looking at the market as a whole um, going up in the terms of people using uh, special cards and people using cards on the game. One way we can look at that is the index uh, using a few of the indexes. So, first off, I want to look at the index special. Now, I'm not entirely sure what goes all into the index special. I'll look at this right now, but it looks like a lot of the informs that are a part of this index special are older informs. If you really look at this, these are all from early team of the weeks, um, like team of the weeks one and two. So I don't use the index special that much just because it doesn't give a full representation of the entire special card market, but we can use index live UCL. And this is actually one of my favorite indexes to look at. Uh, if we go to the daily graph, this this market has been rebounding a ton. You look at the graph down here, it was at 121 points a week ago in the middle of foot birthday. Now it's up to 134, 135, and it was at 174, kind of at the hype and the peak of those, uh, after those Champions League games. Um, and this week, I want to talk about flipping and what specifically cards we want to look at. And I want to look at and focus on a lot of these cards, the UCL live cards, whether they're still in the competition of Champions League or not, like this Griezmann card, we're gonna, gonna go take a look for this one. Um, but last week, a lot of these cards really rose up a bunch um, because they were rare. And that's really what's kind of happened with these cards. I don't know if you guys remember um, what the deal was with these cards um, after, like, after Griezmann lost his game, after Atletico Madrid lost to Juventus, um, in the second leg, a lot of these cards were just flooded onto the market. I mean, I had some Nacho Fernandez, and this man went from like 100K down to 40 to 50, 40 to 50K, and he was just absolutely flooded on the market. There were pages upon pages upon pages of this card. And now when you go look at his card, I'm going to show you guys here just how rare some of these cards are on the market. Um, here is his card now, 87 rated. Um, Real Madrid Spanish center back. He still has a decent amount of cards, but is nowhere near what it was before. We get to the 59th minute, and look at this. In less than six pages, we get to the 59th minute of this card. Last weekend, I had three of this card still in my club, uh, a couple of my transfer lists, and I was just listing them at 70K because I had bought them at 60K, and I just wanted to keep listing them, see if I can make some profit. And I sold all three of them last week on Friday. Um, at the end of foot birthday when the market was going up and people were buying their teams I sold them for 70k and when I went out and looked on the market There were only six cards on the market in the peak of the daytime for this Nacho Fernandez as people were buying him up and buying their cards for uh, Their weekend league teams and you guys know just as well as I do um, These cards aren't the most meta or, or the best cards It was just the amount of buying power last week and how rare these cards were really really made them take off in price i saw it happen more with a lot of the lower cards um lower priced cards and that's where i want to focus this week i mean you really see the rise starting here with sanchez he's 62k right now and he's been like in the 50s all week um kempembe was another very good one he went up to like 170k uh last week it doesn't really show it right here but he was 130 he was 170 at points it only shows 150 but these cards just got so rare on the market that they were incredible um to flip with so again i think these are going to be great looks again this week and that's the big thing that i want to focus on this week um with the, the thursday flips is a lot of pretty much everything is going to rise gold cards informs other special cards on the game um, but this week I think is really a week where we're going to be able to look in some certain areas and really maximize our investment we just don't want to buy things and they're gonna go up everything is basically gonna go up um, from Thursday flipping from people buying their teams to play with this weekend even though people are pretty mad about the game and there are a lot of negative 
connotations about the game kind of going around right now, people are still playing this game and it's evident by the way the market has upswung this week. Um, so we're going to take a look at the second squad now. Take a quick look at this just to scroll through some players and kind of look at them. I don't see any that really stick out to me right now at the moment, but a lot of these guys are going to be just great investments because these cards, again, are just very rare um, on on the game. Let's take a look at Cavani's price, 178. Um, see, he's they've kind of slowly climbed up after the huge drop-off after a Champions League loss. He's now 178. Um, and if you look on the hourly, where was he at? 156. So these cards are also rare. So that means a lot of people aren't even watching these cards right now. Um, so dips like this during the day make them very good to trade with uh, and to flip during the day. He, he dips down to like 160 each day and it rises back up to 180. You know, that's a decent um, little profit range right there just for flipping some of these cards that are popular, that are usable. So that's one thing to look out for as well. But other rare types of cards in this game. You guys know how I feel about the Carnival cards. Um, I would love to invest in some Carnivals this weekend. A lot of them are just so very high. One, one that I see right away that is still kind of low is Gabriel Jesus. Um, I saw that one. Footbin says 382, which is pretty low for that card. I, oh my goodness, there's a lot of them here for 380s. Interesting. 380k. So he's got some supply. He's the only one that is kind of low or down. The rest of the rest of these guys are really high. Bonucci, I just actually tweeted about him. 103,000 coins for this card that was 60k in packs just a couple weeks ago. He was down here in the 60ks. He's just so, so rare on the market on Xbox, and he's probably very rare on PS as well. That that card has really risen up, and especially with the Serie A hype this week with uh, Milenkovic Savage. A lot of people are probably going to be running Serie A teams to incorporate that card in there that they got from weekly objectives. Um, if these cards, again, um, if these cards dip at all, and they're really, I haven't talked about a buy time yet. Basically, you're just buying when you see a deal. That's honestly all that you're going to be doing. Buy when you see a deal. A lot of people have the uh, birthday cards right now. Those are very popular. A lot of people have these cards on their transfer lists in their clubs and they want to sell them, me included. I have a good chunk of them. I know I had said earlier that I wasn't a huge fan of, of these cards, but I am blown away of how these cards have done out of packs. Um, and I think it's just, um, the market has a lot of coins right now coming out of this foot birthday promo where we didn't see a ton of SBCs that everybody thought we were gonna see. So people got their coins ready, they opened packs, they had everything prepared to go do Icon SBCs, to do Foot Birthday SBCs, and to spend a lot of their coins doing SBCs that they thought were coming, especially the Icon Moments. Um, and we never got a big Icon Moments SBC. So all the crash and all the, um, the sell-off that happened before, um, everybody just had their coins. And now this week, uh, they're like, well, those SBCs didn't come out, so I'm sitting here with all these coins. I gotta go buy a team. That's what everybody is going and doing. They're going and buying teams. And that's why we're seeing a lot of these prices go up. And um, a lot of things start to get rarer on the market just because people are tr trying to find something to do in this game after they have all their coins just sitting there from the lack of um, really high quality SBCs during foot birthday. And that's why I was kind of scared of investing with these guys, um, but they have just been incredible out of packs so far. Most of them have risen up a very very good amount they've kind of dipped back down now as the the buying power of the market the UK most of those people have kind of gone to bed um, shout out to you guys by the way buy a lot of the cards um, that are on this market so they're kind of dipped back down for now and what I really want to talk to you guys about is the buy time for these cards maybe a re-entrance time would be before um, rewards again just again see if there are any people that are selling them off the people that are playing the casuals in this game might be trying this card, um, might be trying some of these foot birthday cards that they maybe not had tried from last week. Uh, and they could be selling off before awards. So that's one thing that you can keep an eye out for and keep a watch out for. And that's when a lot of people do buying. That's when a lot of people go out and do their buying for Thursday flipping, me included, uh, is Wednesday night before rewards. And that's why I wanna get this video out today on Wednesday and just talk to you guys about the situations uh, and the buy times. But again, I really want to focus on the rare stuff this week. Um, team of the week wise, linking to team of the week, 
I don't see a ton of, uh, you know, we haven't seen the team of the week yet, and obviously it's going to come out today. I haven't looked at a lot of predictions. It doesn't look that great, to be honest. So we're really going to have to see if there are any link investments, if there are any big-time Premier League players that are in this team of the week that are like 85 to 88 rated, that are um, meta players that people will use. Um, definitely give those cards a check. But um, there's going to be a lot of rewards opened because of division rivals. A lot of people played rivals this week. Um, I have not. As you can see, I, I have not. I was going to go after the objectives. I'm probably not going to end up doing that now just because I don't have a ton of time. But a lot of people played rivals this week to do the weekly objectives to get them Link of its Savage and all that kind of stuff. Um, so you're going to see a lot of rewards that are going to be opened on Thursday. So that's another reason to make this market go up even further. But I want to get back to looking at Footbin. And you know my favorite link on Footbin, this, my favorite page is this page right here, the All Team of the Weeks tab. Just scrolling through some of these Team of the Weeks. And what I want you guys to start doing is as we progress through Foot, and as we keep continuing, especially in this time between Team of the Season, uh, between this Foot birthday and Team of the Season when we don't really know what's going on, a lot of cards are going to get rare. Um, so this Team of the Week that was out this week in particular, this Team of the Week never saw lightning rounds. It never saw any big SBCs that gave out a lot of uh, uh, packs. I mean, we had the Robin SBC that uh, was like the only source of packs. There was a few special packs that were that were out when this Team of the Week uh, was out, but no lightning rounds is huge. Um, and there weren't a ton of SBCs that people were doing. So these cards are very rare. And they've already become good investments already. I have a Pogba under 700. Uh, Depay, I have one in my club that I got at 60k. He's already up 20k a card if you got in on him. But those are the kind of team of the weeks that you want to always make a mental note of. Um, I remember one team of the week way back here earlier in the year. I think it's team of the week number 12 right here. This team of the week is pretty rare, and I always remember that because of Chiellini and Aubameyang. Both of those guys stay very rare, and as well as Team of the Week 11. This Sterling card is a fantastic card to flip on Thursdays just because he gets so rare. Look what happened last week. He was 160 and peaked on Friday at 198. So that means he probably was selling over 200K at one point. And this is what uh, keeping eye and keeping track of what Team of the Weeks are very rare and keeping track of those meta cards inside of those Team of the Weeks is uh, something that's, that's very good and you can get a lot of extra return on your investment from paying attention to those Team of the Weeks. Also just paying attention to um, other special cards. Like the FFS cards have gotten a lot rarer over time and some of them are still very valuable in their respective positions. Hakimi, actually if we go onto foot right now, I have, I've been buying a bunch of the Hakimis this week um, for when I see them under 120,000 coins I think I have, what, maybe like 10 or so right here. Um, I've been buying them under 120 just because I feel like this card uh, can easily rebound to 130, 140 um, during the weekend. So that's a, a nice flip that I'm going to be looking forward to. But a lot of these cards, again, I focus on these cards a lot. I flipped a lot of these cards during the year. They just get very, very rare. So focus on the rare stuff this week, whatever that looks like to you. Um, gold cards, there's still going to be good flips as well. If you don't have a ton of coins, you can focus on some of the gold cards like Alexandra, like Kyle Walker, like just those those gold cards um, that are rare, not rare, but they're they're meta and they're needed um, and they're very popular inside of FIFA Ultimate Team. Like some guy like Sergio Ramos, he's probably up in price already right now. Oh, not too much actually, like 114, 110, 103. You know what? I'm gonna buy that because that's pretty low. We didn't get it anyway. Cards like that, the high-rated golds, the meta golds, De Gea. Uh, Courtois, Varane, stuff like that is also a decent investment as well. Just peruse uh, tonight before you go to bed if you want to make some flips. Get on Footbin and scroll through some Team of the Weeks. Literally just do this. Go through Footbin, scroll th through some of the Team of the Weeks, special cards, all that kind of stuff, and just look at some prices and see what you see. Look at graphs and make note of some of the meta cards and uh, some of their prices because that is the best way to make coins each week. With Thursday flipping but again this week I think you really want to focus on some of those very very rare cards from team of the weeks and from um, promo teams that didn't get a lot of supply with um, or that have just become very rare kind of like this 91 Pogba that I was just mentioning so 
keep your eyes out for that this week. I think those are going to be the best investments. Um, and literally anything you buy should be going up. So if you have a lot of those foot birthday cards, um, make sure that you're getting those out this week, unless you want to hold for the extra week. Um, foot birthdays will be something, barring any type of huge promo, um, I would be looking to flip a lot of these cards for next week's weekend league rewards, and I'll be buying them after the weekend because um, that's kind of been the trend. The second week out of packs is a big time uh, jump for a lot of these cards, even though we've seen a big jump already in them. Um, so yeah, and if you like the video, smash a thumbs up to it and uh, ask me questions down below. If you have a certain player that you think you want to invest in, uh, that you think is a good fit, that you think is somebody that people will be buying for their teams, ask that question down below. I'd love to talk with you guys there and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.